here. Uh, today we're going to show you some uh, fuel systems from the BA Falcon um, going towards the BF Mark II and the FGX. So the whole BA to FGX Falcon range. And I'm going to show you three systems that we've had in, uh, had in vehicles for over 10 years now and working beautifully and successfully. And I just want to show you um, in our fuel system lab how they operate, um, maybe remove some questions that we often get asked and uh, just let you understand what a KPM fuel system for the Falcon range is. Alright, so what we've got here is our uh, fuel systems lab set up. Um, we've got some injectors in situ. They're gonna, they're gonna, we're going to run these injectors as if you would be running them on your engine. Uh, we're going to run our uh, Street Fighter 1000 horsepower module as if it is in your fuel tank. Now just be aware, uh, all our KPM fuel systems are designed as a direct fit uh, that go directly into your fuel tank. So you remove your standard uh, module out and you fit our upgraded Street Fighter module. So we're replicating that module in a fuel tank. And now as you can see, there's probably only, oh, I'd say 11 and a half to 2 litres uh, of, uh, of fuel in there, so we're going to replicate a near empty tank actually and show you how well the system works uh, on either a full tank or an empty tank. So uh, I'll fire it up and uh, give you a bit of an explanation of what's going on. Okay, so what we're replicating here, if you have a look at the uh, fuel module, you can see that it's cascading and overflowing. Once again, that's housed in only about maximum two litres of fuel there at the moment. So with two litres of fuel, we've actually still got a full module. What that means is, even with an empty tank and a car swerving around corners, that module will always remain full because it will continue to scavenge the fuel from the bottom of the, of the tank. We've tested this on racetrack to make sure that in real life it's uh, Actual and it works magnificently. We've carried out full circle, we've, uh, we've carried out full uh, left hand and right hand bends. We've actually done this testing with only uh, five, we've drained the tank on the vehicles, put five litres of fuel back in, and done the testing on a racetrack with a race car driver, so it had full G forces. And we've actually tested the system until the car ran out of fuel. The vehicle did not surge for the whole period, and you can see why. Empty fuel tank, full module. I'll fire it up again. What you're going to see, just take note, we're, we're running these injectors, and it's equivalent to about 900 horsepower worth, worth of fuel there. So, to explain again, we've got 900 horsepower worth of fuel, a near empty tank, and a full module. So we're running a 900 horsepower Falcon around a racetrack, Two litres of fuel in the tank, no surge. Let's fire it up again. Okay, that's enough fuel to supply 900 horsepower. That's a near empty tank. Module is still full. Have a look at the fuel pressure. It's correct fuel pressure at 400 kPa. That's what the system should be running. It's not too high, it's not over the top. Have a look, we're, we're draining the tank now, we're actually going to run this system as low as we can while seeing if we can retain fuel pressure. So keep your eye on the fuel pressure gauge, keep your eye on the tank level. Don't forget, we're still running 900 horsepower there. We're nearly out and the fuel pressure is still staying reasonably steady. Nearly out. Okay, well I can start to see the gauge fluctuating now. It's still scavenging. The pot's about three quarter full now, so it's starting to aerate. So it's not quite dead yet, but you can see there's probably about three, four hundred mil of fuel, if that, on the bottom of the fuel tank. Here we go, gone. Absolutely zero fuel in the tank. Now, this is not an ideal situation, it's worst case scenario. So we want to show this system in a worst case scenario. 
Um, so, recap, worst case scenario, no fuel in the tank virtually. A module that's still full of fuel, you can drive around corners, supplying 900 horsepower. That's the beauty of this system. What we uh, really, really, the, the advantage that we can really stress over many other type of fuel systems, surge tanks type systems where the fuel tank is retained separately, the pumps are put separately from the main tank, is that in a normal circumstance, these pumps would be surrounded by at least 10 litres of fuel. That would be the sort of worst circumstance. With 10 litres of fuel surrounding this fuel system, you're keeping your pumps cool, therefore delivering nice, cool, dense fuel to your engine. Cool, dense fuel means more energy out of your fuel. More energy out of your fuel means the ability to tune the vehicle to a higher level. So you're getting the best out of your fuel and you're also keeping your combustion temperatures low because you haven't got hot fuel. You can put more boost in, you can put more timing in. Very important to have a system that supplies cool dense fuel. The KPM in-tank fuel systems will do that because you are going to be surrounded by a minimum of whatever you choose to put in the fuel tank. You're not going to be surrounded by a surge tank scenario where there's only a couple of litres the whole time. So the fuel remains cool and dense and it is, it is an up-performing system where you can get more power out of the fuel system and the beauty of it is it's a simple system that is engineered to work correctly directly. Okay, so we've seen how the system works. Uh, I just want to show you the range of three different fuel systems we have for the uh, Falcon range. We start with the 700 horsepower intake fuel system, works exactly the same. We then go to the 1000 horsepower, which you've just seen. Now that's the sedan version in the uh, test bench. This is the ute version, obviously a lot taller, but still 1000 horsepower. Uh, and I should stress we've got, a, we've got the ute version for both of those. Then we go to our latest and greatest one. When I say latest, we've had this out for about five years now. This is our 1500 horsepower in tank uh, fuel system. So, again, exactly the same function, design, and the way it works exactly the same. We're able to supply fuel for 1500 horsepower. The uh, 700 horsepower package comes with the module and, and a high flow regulator. It's got, our, um, it's got our 700 horsepower pump in there and it's 100% ethanol compatible, 100% petrol compatible, so you can use it on all fuels. Um, the the uh, module is an anti-surge module. Where it's a module that uh, Remanufactured by, by us here at KPM Motorsport, that will allow you to maintain your proper fuel pressures at around 400 kPa, which is very important. Uh, your reg will allow you to return the extra amount of fuel. So it's very important that you, when we sell the kit, we sell it together so it works perfectly and you won't have any issues. Then we go to our 1000 horsepower kit, which is, again We've got the Ute there, we've got the sedan display there, but they come with exactly the same componentry. Again, this rec then is also part of the 1000 horsepower kit, the rec fit, pop out the standard rec, pop in the KPM rec. The fuel module was, was demonstrated, and because we've now got two larger pumps in there, we need to make sure the wiring uh, is up to scratch. So we've got a direct plug and play, relay wiring clip, OEM connectors, all you have to do is route it. So that will supply your system with correct voltage to run the pumps to their uh, premium uh, or their maximum performance correctly and not overheat the standard wiring in the car. We then move to the 1500 horsepower system. Again, same scenario. We supply a different fuel pressure regulator for this one because it flows so much. This is uh, over a thousand litre per hour return rig, which uh, is uh, more than ample to, uh, to suit the system. It'll run perfectly uh, at 400 kPa, and as a matter of fact, you can even adjust it down below 400 kPa for high boost vehicles. So that comes with a 1500 horsepower kit, different rig from the other two kits. 
and again, a heavy gauge wiring kit. So you will see them to ensure the system runs perfectly. Again, all the systems are 100% ethanol compatible, E85 compatible, petrol compatible. Uh, you can run whatever you like. All the fittings are zinc plated, everything is stainless steel. You can see there's braided hoses in there. All the plastics are 100% ethanol petrol. Now lastly, I just want to show you something uh, that uh, a lot of people forget about when they are running a big system, is their fuel filler. So because our systems are designed to be easy, functional and direct fit, we, we've also manufactured a direct fit replacement fuel filter. When you start running high levels of fuel flow, you need a high flow fuel filter. Secondly, when you start using ethanol, you need a fuel filter that doesn't break down. So a lot of the paper filters that you replace with have got, have got the glues in them that glue the paper filter. The ethanol actually breaks the, the, the glues down, brings them to your injectors, brings them to the fuel pump, causes all sorts of trouble. So if you're looking for a complete ethanol compatible system, we also offer our 1500 horsepower direct fit fuel filter. It's a lifetime filter. It comes with a 10 micron stainless steel cleanable lifetime filter. So every uh, so often, every 20,000 say, 40,000, take it off, unscrew it. We've also got service kits for it. Clean it, screw it back on, fit it back to your vehicle. That maintains a trouble free, lifetime, reliable system on both ethanol and petrol. Guys, if you need some more information, we've got our technicians here, we've got our engineers here that would love to talk to you about fuel systems. It's uh, one of the things we specialise in, injectors, fuel pumps, fuel systems. Give us a call, look us up on PAGM Fuel Systems. Uh, we've got a full website for fuel systems alone and uh, we'd love to answer your questions. See you next time.